What came first, chicken or the egg? Well, here it's definitely chicken. Why did the human cross the road? To get to the world's first KFC. All I can say is those birds love these birds. That's right, this is the very first Kentucky Fried Chicken restaurant. But with over 30,000 KFC restaurants now open around the world, you might say this is just a drop in the bucket. Well, it might be finger licking good, but what they don't tell you is, this is what could happen to you if you lick your fingers too many times. These two characters are Colonel Harlan Sanders on the left, and Pete Harmon on the right. But more about them later. For now, let's go inside. Here is Pete Harmon with his wife Arlene. Now look down here, it's Pete Harmon's briefcase. Nothing says you're important like having Colonel Sanders' mug on the side. That clearly shows you're on top of the pecking order. And check this out. This is one of the original Colonel Sanders pressure cookers. And behind there looks to be an autographed picture of Colonel Sanders. During the 1930s and 1940s, Colonel Harlan Sanders worked like a chicken with his head cut off, trying to perfect his southern fried chicken recipe until he had come up with a perfect combination of 11 herbs and spices in a pressure cooker. He operated his own restaurant called the Sanders Court and Cafe in Corbin, Kentucky. When Interstate 75 bypassed Corbin, he decided instead to travel the country and try to sell them his chicken recipe. Some owners, you might say, balked at the idea, but Pete Harmon was the first to accept his offer after Colonel Sanders made a meal for Pete and his wife. Pete owned his own restaurant called Harmon Cafe right here in this location. 3890 South State Street in Salt Lake City, Utah. Now they've got a lot of cool pieces of memorabilia in this little museum of a restaurant. But look at this. This has got to be the coolest piece of all. One of Colonel Sanders' original suits. A Harmon Cafe sign painter came up with the idea of calling it Kentucky Fried Chicken instead of Southern Fried Chicken to get more attention. Utahns flew the coop and flocked to this restaurant to eat up this delicious new Kentucky Fried Chicken. Pete Harmon and Colonel Sanders remained business partners and friends for life, and their restaurant chain really took off. So it just goes to show that you can't be chicken in life. There are no guarantees. So don't count your chickens before they hatch, but sometimes you have to spread your wings and take a chance in life. Now let's have a look around at the rest of the restaurant. Well, I think I figured out what's been missing in my life. A bucket chandelier. Only 4,000 statues in Japan. Ha, huh. amateur. I've got way more than that in Japan. But I do know that KFC is the most popular Christmas dinner in Japan. My understanding is because turkey is not really a thing in Japan, so it's another bird. Close enough. They dress up Colonel Sanders like Santa Claus, and you know, turkey, chicken, tomato, tomato. An old white guy with white hair. What's the difference? Well, I know this is bad news, and it's going to ruffle some feathers, but unfortunately this video is coming to a close. But don't worry, I'm sure another great video that will make you feel like a spring chicken again will be coming along shortly. And don't worry, the production quality won't be cheap. So join me, won't you?